kids' educational games. Measurement units and ratios. Hello and welcome to Road Trip, the course on measurements. By the end of this course, you will be able to measure distance, calculate mileage, determine time, convert weight, calculate volume, and convert temperature. Hello, my name is Lauren, and I've always wanted to take a road trip. Today, I'm going to travel from the valley where I live to the top of the nearby mountain. Would you like to join me and help me along the way? Great, let's get started planning our trip. First, let's calculate the distance from where we are, point A, to the top of the mountain, point B. Use the ruler to measure the distance from point A to point B. The distance from point A to point B is 10 kilometers, 50 kilometers, 70 kilometers, 100 kilometers. Seventy kilometers. Correct. To determine the distance from point A to point B, we must first measure our ruler to the legend scale. The scale of ten kilometers is the same size as one inch on our ruler. Now let's take the ruler and measure the distance between point A and point B. We can see that the distance measured is seven inches. Therefore, if one inch is equal to ten kilometers, then we need to multiply the 7 inches by the 10 kilometers. The distance between point A and point B is 70 kilometers. Since the distance between point A and point B is 70 kilometers, how many miles will we need to drive to get to the top of the mountain? 43, 70, 112, 156, 180. Forty-three. Correct. To convert kilometers to miles, we need to divide the number of kilometers 70 by 1.6, an approximate conversion factor. Dividing 70 kilometers by 1.6 equals 43.75, or 43 miles. To get a precise value, we would need to divide 70 kilometers by 1.609344. Great! Now we know the distance we will have to travel to the top of the mountain. Let's get going! I think we are making good time. If we keep driving at this speed, how long will it take us to get there? 43 minutes, 45 minutes, 57 minutes, 60 minutes, 112 minutes. Fifty-seven minutes. Correct! To find the rate at which we are traveling, we need to use the equation time equals distance divided by rate. We know the distance is 43 miles and the rate is 45 miles per hour. Let's divide 43 by 45 to get 0.95. However, 0.95 is in miles per hour. To convert to time, we need to multiply 0.95 by 60 minutes. Since there are 60 minutes in an hour, multiplying 0.95 by 60 minutes gives us 57.3 minutes or by rounding down to the closest whole number, 57 minutes. Since it is 10 a.m. right now, and it should take us an additional 57 minutes to get there, we should be there at 10.57 a.m. Is that a sign for a produce stand up ahead? Yes, let's stop and get some snacks for a picnic along the way.
Hi, my name is Bill. How can I help you? We would like to buy some food for a picnic. Can you help us pick out some fruit? Sure, we have an excellent selection of fruit. What looks good to you? Those apples look delicious. Uh, we will take two of them. How much are they? The apples are one dollar a pound. These apples weigh twelve ounces, three quarters of a pound, so the total price is seventy-five cents for both apples. How much do the apples weigh in grams? One hundred and ninety-two grams, three hundred and thirty-six grams, four hundred and forty-eight grams. 560 grams, 780 grams. Three hundred and thirty-six grams. Correct. To get the total number of grams, we first need to know that one ounce is equal to 28 grams. Now let's multiply 28 grams by 12 ounces which gives us the correct answer of 336 grams. Thank you so much for your help. That sign says there is a lake right up ahead. for our picnic. The brochure says this lake is 32 meters long by 24 meters wide and 16 meters deep. What is the volume of the lake in liters? 12.28 liters, 1,228.8 liters, 12,288 liters, 122,880 liters. 12,288,000 liters. Twelve million two hundred and eighty-eight thousand liters. Correct. To figure out the volume of the lake in liters, we must first figure out the volume of the lake in meters. The equation for volume is volume equals length times width times depth. So when we multiply 32 meters by 24 meters by 16 meters, we get 12,288 cubic meters. Since 1,000 liters is equal to 1 cubic meter, we then need to multiply 12,288 cubic meters by 1,000 liters. The correct answer is that the volume of the lake is 12,288,000 liters. Look at the time. We better get going if we want to make it up the mountain and back home before it gets dark. Let's go. Look at the temperature gauge on the dashboard. It is really cold out there. What is the temperature outside in degrees Celsius? 60 degrees Celsius, 28 degrees Celsius, minus 4 degrees Celsius, minus 0 0.4 degrees Celsius, minus 2 degrees Celsius. Minus 2 degrees Celsius. Correct! In order for us to find the temperature degree in Celsius, we need to subtract 32 from the degrees Fahrenheit, then divide by 9 and multiply by 5. 28 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 equals negative 4. We then divide negative 4 by 9 to give us negative 0.4. Finally, we multiply negative 0.4 by 5, which gives us the correct answer of negative 2 degrees Celsius.
Congratulations! You have completed the course! Thank mm -hmm. you.